Once you feel happy about committing to that lower ski, you might find that top ski wants to come in and be much more parallel. Let it happen. A parallel turn wasn't invented by scientists. If you're doing a good snowplow turn and your body position's working for you, the ski will come in parallel. The basics still apply, keeping those hands in front. Once I've turned and committed to that downhill ski, you can just feel that ski come and drift in. So I'm gonna to commit to that right foot and feel the left ski drift in, nice and smooth. Don't force it. And once it's come in parallel, don't stand onto it, stay on the downhill ski. We want to fully commit and balance on the downhill ski. If the ski doesn't feel ready to come in, don't force it, wait until it feels ready. If you're having trouble getting that ski coming in parallel, don't just keep forcing it, look at your body position. If I twist myself and try and force the turn, I'm gonna pull that uphill ski more onto the edge and it's gonna stick. And the harder I pull it, the more it's gonna be jamming in the snow. Keep your body nice and straight, looking for that next turn, and it will even help to open that knee and let the ski slide in nice and smooth. Feel the weight come off that ski and open the knee. It shouldn't feel like something you've got to force, it should happen quite naturally. I think that was a really good day. Now you should be feeling those skis coming nicely parallel at the end of the turn, much less strain on the legs. It's really good for you to get a much longer run and have more time to get those turns working. Next time, our focus is gonna be on keeping those skis parallel from the beginning to the end of the turn, all the way through, picking up the speed slightly and even finding some steeper terrain.